we have pattern ones all the way across and then pattern two. If you click the same where you see the little red highlighted PAT for pattern, that means it's only playing an individual pattern. Whatever pattern is located here, that's what it's going to play when you click play. All right, so in order to get the whole song to play, meaning it plays track one and track two, or pattern one, pattern two, as it used to be called in older FL Studio versions, uh, you go ahead and click so it's green. So there's pattern and there's song. So now you'll see that song plays the whole thing. Alright, so one of the last things that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back into Pattern 2. And the way I like to do this is go ahead and click on this, keep that up so you can check out Pattern 1, Pattern 2. Alright, so we're in Pattern 2. Go ahead and click on Orion, left click, and then you'll see up in this top little right hand corner it says FX. You can double click on that and it's going to bring up to the little master thing so you kind of understand you know, where you are located. I, I usually like to scroll because sometimes you'll have preset effects in the first few channels. So I usually like to start on FX5 just because it's just a habit. I don't know. Mainly because there's infinite. I mean, you can go infinitely. It really doesn't matter as long as you remember which one you're on. So it's not a big deal. It's not like you're wasting space or anything like that. Feel free to start on one if you look at it. Just make sure if you look over here in this right hand column that they're all clear when you start. All right, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to go ahead and start on one. Okay. So now we're on, we're on one right here. FX first channel right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and just left click. And what this does is it opens up all the different effects that you can add to the one that you click right here, which is the orange string. And again, you can do this for any any specific instrument that you put in here but right now we're working with the orange string so what I like to usually do and I, you can go in and manually do this too but a very quick way to make it sound a little different a little bit more techno-y is to throw in something called gross beat which is located right down here it's nothing I added into it no plugins or anything like that so it's just comes with FL Studio the demo version actually which is what I'm using now for the tutorial uh, if you can go ahead and just click on that it's gonna open up this little window right here it's got a whole bunch of different beats. Uh, the one I'm going to mess with right now is not the top one, which is right here. The, I'm going to go ahead and click on that and leave it empty, okay? I'm going to go ahead and let's see which one I want to pick. We'll click uh, Trance GT1, which is a nice trancey sound. I'm going to go ahead and put it on pattern first so you can hear what that sounds like. Alright, so you can see. The bars in here, when it's down, it's not playing any sound, so it's cutting off the sound. Remember, we put a whole note. We put a whole note. I just double clicked on that to bring to the piano view and bring it up. This is a whole note right here, so what we were hearing before was just a solid, whatever. This actually chops it up automatically into a specific beat, which is kind of cool. You can go in and you can go crazy with it. You can spend hours just going into the little gross beat, chopping it up, doing whatever you want, and make your own custom sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and get back into what I was looking at. Double click on that and there. As you can see, it says gross beat right here. We're going to go ahead and keep that. Um, down here, I won't get too much into detail with it, but you can raise the volume of the specific insert and then master does the entire song. Um, for now, we're not going to mess with any of this stuff. It'll be later tutorials. I'll explain more about that. So this is what we're focused on. As long as yours says gross beat, which is going to be this one. And you can, again, you can go in and practice around with any of these, do whatever you want. You know, go crazy. But for now, that's just what we're going to keep it at. Gross beat, regular, awesome. Let's back out. We're going to go ahead and up here and click on the playlist. Check on that. And there's our song. What I did in the last thing was just, just chop this out. I just right click it and deletes it. So you can delete things. You can hold it down, delete them all. Uh, just look, if, you, if you're on pattern 2, see how it says pattern 2 up here? It's going to do that. So make sure, and you can actually go in and, and edit this too. But we're not, again, we're not going to mess with that. For now, uh, make sure you're on pattern one though to make the same sound that I showed you in the beginning of the tutorial. Pattern one, uh, click and drag the first three slots. Okay, so now, now we're up here. Go ahead and click on song so it plays both of them at the same time, and this is what you'll get. Okay, great. 
Thanks you guys very much for staying tuned for this tutorial and I look forward to making more and in-depth ones. I will probably continue to make a few more beginner tutorials as well. There is so much to learn in FL Studio and it's just hard to go over even the basics in one tutorial. But once you get it, it's really not too difficult to understand. It's very visual. You don't have to know too much about super, well, I guess it really just depends on what your interest is. If you want to get more and more and more in depth, it's almost some limited rabbit hole or whatever you want to call it. But it's also, you know, just a basic thing you can mess around with and have fun if you want as well. So thanks guys very much for staying tuned and I appreciate it. Uh, one last thing I'll show you is even in the demo version of FL Studio, you can save your tracks and put them out F or put them out on YouTube or whatever you want to do. As if you're up here on file, go ahead and click on that. And if you scroll down, you'll see a little export button. Uh, I usually do MP3, just the most standard. Uh, you can click on that. You can name it whatever you want. You can, I'll just throw it on my desktop for now. Uh, you can just, whatever. Uh, and you save that out. And it's going to show you. Uh, if your computer is fast enough, you can pretty much max it out. Unless it's a huge song with tons and tons of tracks, it will take a long time. I've had a couple that last a few hours. But if you're just doing something simple like this, you can pretty much max out the quality. Uh, just stay with 24 and all that kind of stuff. You can adjust this. Nothing simple. If you want, don't even mess with that. You can go ahead as soon as you get to this screen and click on start. It's going to render that out. And this all just pops up letting you know your song's there. And if you saved it to desktop like I just did, uh, you'll be able to go to your desktop, just double click on it like it's a regular MP3 file that you found on the internet. And uh, yeah. Alright, guys. Appreciate it. See ya.